Yeah, I'd say the team, uh, we're definitely up and about right now. Um, had the patch where we, where we struggled a bit, but we've uh, climbed our way out of that, um, as, as you can see, and we've picked up a few wins in a row now, and a big one on the road against Sydney. Uh, so now we just got to uh, defend home court, and, uh, and, and we know we have finals booked, it's just whereabouts we finish, and our, our goal's top two, so um, yeah, we still got a fair bit of work to do to, uh, to accomplish that one. You've had you know, get the weeks lead in to Sydney and then a pretty intense sort of last few weeks. How beneficial now is this week off? Yeah, this is probably the first uh, time in a while where we've had a, a full week of preparation where we can get after it earlier in the week and taper down going into a game and not having to worry about a back-to-back -back or uh, a short period between games. It just it feels almost like a almost pre-season like um, but it's good we're able to sharpen up on uh, things we need to get done it gives us time to work through those and get those things right um, but I guess with the guys that are logging big time minutes it's good for them where they can uh, I guess take a, a day or two off to get themselves right before we go again. So do you feel like the pressure's off a little bit? Uh, I don't, you could probably say so but I mean the way we've been going about our stuff, I mean, the pressure's always going to be on because, I mean, especially when you play with, for a club like Perth, I mean, there's the expectation, expectations are huge. Um, so, but I guess you can't really worry about that too much. You've got to go step by step and just focus on the little things and eventually those, those bigger goals will take care of themselves. You've received a bit of a boost in minutes and output with Mitch Norton, your good friend uh, on the sidelines. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's unfortunate that uh, someone gets injured, uh, but it's, it's part of the game and everyone's uh, in that kind of boat of there's a possibility could he get injured, it's just the next guy has to step up and uh, I've been able to get some more minutes and I've been able to shoot the ball pretty well. Um, so yeah, i just got to keep being aggressive, keep shooting the ball and I think those minutes will stay there. How have you assessed the defensive side of your game as well? Do you know about your shooting? How do you feel you're going at the other end as well? Yeah, I mean, I... Teams try and target me. I mean, it's it's no, uh, it's nothing new. Um, they're going to send their bigger three men at me, try to post me up, uh, be physical with me. Uh, but then again, whatever work I'm doing down there defensively, I know they're going to have to chase me down the other end. So it's not like I get get bogged down and down on myself if um, I, I miss a stop or something like that. I mean, uh, you got to go down the other way, next play mentality. And um, I mean, if you go back down there and hit a three, I mean, it, it kind of deflates them a little bit, but um, you just got to bring intensity on the defensive end, play de team defense, and uh, that'll get it done. Knowing you're going to get minutes, does that help a lot, I think? Just, you know, knowing you're, you've got time to work your way into it sometimes and that sort of stuff? Yeah, I think, uh, I guess it makes the, uh, I guess, know when your rotation's coming. Uh, I'm getting into the game a lot earlier now, uh, whereas probably before you probably you didn't really know when you were going to get into the game but knowing you're going to be in there about that f five minute mark you definitely prepare yourself you know you're ready um, I mean I've got a huge amount of confidence right now so I just, whenever it's my turn to check in I'm out there and I'm firing away so. What do you expect from the Kings this Friday night because last one in Sydney is um, one by 20 points so I'd say that they'll be coming out for this Friday night. Yeah, I think they'll address a few things. Um, I th defensively for us, we were great at Sydney. I think we held them to, what, 68, so under 70 points. In, uh, in the NBL these days, that's, that's a pretty solid effort. So um, in terms of the way we guarded them, I think they're going to they're gonna see that. They're going to try a few different things. But uh, we're focused on us, worry about the things we got to do, and I think uh, the other side will take care of itself. You, uh, team record? You know yours in terms of shooting. I think you average more points against them than oh, the right. season average. Uh, no, I didn't know that. Um, I guess I just got to uh, go and do the same thing. I guess. I mean, um, I mean, when you got Bogut in there, he's protecting the paint. I mean, you're going to have some guys setting screens, and there's not going to be too much screen help. So, uh, if you're you're patient and you run off those screens uh, pretty well, then you know you're going to get open because we got some. I mean, Gus, Nick, Tommy, those guys set some pretty, pretty big screens. You're going you're gonna to get some space to shoot the ball.
NBL released um, the shortlist for the MVP this morning. Uh, Twenty names. On it. Who's your MVP this season, and why? Oh, I mean, we got a pretty good guy on our team. He, uh, no reason why he can't go back to back. Um, but I mean, I think Casper stood up uh, for Melbourne. He's, he's carrying them, and um, but yeah, it might come down to down to those two. But uh, I'll, I'll take BC any day of the week. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, you could say that. I mean, numbers-wise, uh, maybe not. I mean, MVPs these days, I mean, they look at scoring and I guess what they bring to the game, but Bogut does a lot of stuff that probably doesn't show up on, on a score sheet in terms of protecting the rim. I mean, he's, pro he's leading blocks, but it's probably the, the ones that he doesn't block, he's still making us change our shots. So, uh, I mean, he's got huge rebounding numbers and I mean, yeah, you could make a case for it, but uh, I haven't thought too, <laughs> too too deeply into it, so I wouldn't know Sorry what to... Sorry missed it, um, but do you feel like you're the most confident you've been since Townsville? Uh, I think so. I think the numbers would show it as well. Uh, I mean, I know I'm getting in the game and um, running off screens, um, kind of pick and choosing which way I want to go, know where I can get open, and um, we just we got some really high IQ players on our team, they know where to get me the ball and, uh, and guys setting massive screens. So if I keep working with them, then the shots are going to keep coming. And the more I put up, the more it's going to go in and your confidence goes up. So you just you keep firing them up there and watch them go in. And maybe knowing that if you miss one, you're not going to get dragged? Yeah, I mean, obviously the minutes are there now with Mitch uh, being out. So, I mean, you can't really think about that too much. Even when I wasn't playing that much, it's not like, oh, if I shoot this, I'm going to get dragged if I miss it. It's whether I'm out, I'm out there, I need to shoot the ball, I'm going to get dragged if I don't shoot the ball. So if I'm open, if I'm half open, I've got to let it fly. So. Tariko sitting out today, feel good? Yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure what was uh, going on there. Um, probably just resting up a bit, maybe tweak something. But um, like I said, this week's a uh, week where we can rest some guys and get them going towards the back end of the week and make sure they're healthy. All right, thanks, thanks, no worries, guys.